Amen.
God will never allow your seed to beg for bread. Amen. So when you give, amen, he allows for you, amen, to have what they got more than enough. I heard it say more than enough. And he will send men to to chase you down. Amen. The Bible says that he will run you down the Lord of God. He will run you over and he the blessing of the Lord according to the Lord of the Amen. So I heard it say overflow. Overflow. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. This side, amen. If you're going to stand, amen. And come, amen. And uh, bring your seat, amen. Your sacrificial seat. Amen. Somebody say, I only got $25 to my name. Amen. But go ahead and pray. Because I just see somebody had a 20 and somebody had a $5 bill. Amen. They say, profit, amen. Y'all up in my pocketbook today. Amen. Go ahead and bring it. Amen. Because I believe that one word from the Lord can change your life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So we're going to allow, amen, this side, amen, to come up, amen, and to give the liberty. Amen. God bless you, amen. Amen. And as they come, amen, as they come, this side can come and give. Amen. And I 
our, our granddaughter, amen. amen. She got saved, amen. He came to our church, he brought the word, amen. Uh, I believe it was September, Somewhere like that. Um, six. She said it's six. I got it written down. Amen. He came that Sunday and he preached at our church. Amen. And he brought the word forth. And God used him mightily in a special way. The anointing was upon him to preach the gospel. And my granddaughter, who's sitting there with the cap on her head, she got saved and delivered, set free, and filled with the Holy Ghost that day. Amen. I say you pray for all these beautiful people, the men and women of God, amen, that's doing the work of the Lord at a young age like they are, because there's a lot of other things they could be doing out there. Somebody said ain't nothing out there. It's a lot out there. It's a lot that the devil has to offer. It don't even matter. He don't even have a certain age. He don't have a perspective person. He'll use the young and he'll use the old, amen. He don't care who he uses. He just want a soul to take with him, glory to God. And I thank God for them, and we, we try to support them. We will support y'all any kind of way we can. Amen, any kind of way we can. That's why I sit over there and be a granny to the baby. Amen, because I know they really, they doing, they mean business, they mean Jesus, and they, they doing the work for the Lord. And it ain't easy, amen. It's not easy when you're in ministry, amen. I used to be on the other side, in the pews, amen. And all I had to do was just pray fast and come to church and be faithful and obey God. But when God did a shift and brought us to the other side, it's a lot of work, amen. And it's a lot of work, but it could be done with the Lord because all things are possible in Jesus. And I just want to introduce the guest speaker on today, amen, who happens to be my husband, amen. And my friend, amen. And my baby's daddy, amen. <laughs> and I thank the praise God for him, amen. He is my baby daddy and the, the papa of his grandchildren, amen. And he's a good neighbor to the neighbors, amen. And a good friend to his friends. And I thank God for it. And his, this is Pastor Byron Richmond, amen. The pastor of Hope Assembly Church. Let's just sit by the word of amen. amen. Preach. 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 Praise God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Can y'all give God a praise? Amen. 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 We're alive in the storm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm not going to feel this mic. I like to walk and talk. Amen. Praise God. I'm not, I'm not kind of pressed to like be behind the pool pit too much. Amen. But I want y'all to do me a favor before I bring the word. Amen. Who are all in here this week? Amen. The devil been on them. Amen. He's been out them on all sides. Amen. All year, all month. Amen. All week. Amen. The devil been on your trail. Amen. Praise God. I want us to do something then. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We want to get a devil a black eye today. Amen. Amen. How do we do that? I want you. I want you to repeat after me. We're gonna say one, two, and on the when I said three, we gonna yell. Amen. amen. How you wanna yell? We just gonna yell. Yell because one thing about it. Amen. When you yell, we gonna get a devil or a black eye. Amen. amen. Praise God. One, two, three. Yeah. Hey. Amen. amen. You know you can't do something to do this sometimes around relatives and stuff. They think you're crazy. Amen. But when we come into the house of God, amen, we can be free. Amen. Praise God. Ain't nobody got to look at you crazy or side at it. Amen. amen. So we're going to do this one more time. Hey, we, hey, hey, that, with that right there, we gave him a black on the left side. Amen. So this one, we're going to get a black on the right side. Right. Amen. One, two, three. Hey! Yeah, no, guess what? Sometimes, amen, you just want to just, amen, go in the woods sometimes and just say, ah! Amen, praise God. Sometimes, you know how it is when you get angry, you get frustrated. 
Hey, Amen. Praise God. You just get beside yourself. You just want to just yell at somebody. Hey, Amen. You just want to yell. You don't want to scream. Hey, Amen. Praise God. Hey, Amen. The only thing you got to do is just, hey, Amen, just scream and say, Glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm trying to teach you how to get the devil off the trail. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise God. In the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Number one, I want to just. Before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to God. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, He's the Lord of my life. Amen. To my wife, Amen. Praise God, Donna Richie. First day, of, the first day of Home City Church. Amen. In Trouble Grove, Texas. Amen. Amen. Deacon Lewis. Amen. Praise God. A faithful man, a faithful woman. Amen. Praise God of God. Amen. Amen. I can count on it. My grandma, she just got saved. I can count on them. Amen. When I can't count on no other members in the church, I can count on them. Amen. amen. Praise God. When I go to the places, amen, I can count on them to be there. Amen. amen. Praise God. I also want to recognize, amen, the pastor, prophet, Marquise Jones, amen, his beautiful wife, amen, Jasmine, amen, first lady, amen, to all the saints, to all the saints in the house of the Lord today. Amen. amen. Praise God. God is good. Amen. 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 All the time, God is good. Amen. Praise God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you today. Dear Father, I just come humble before you today. Lord, hide me behind the cross. Lord, I just want to open my mouth, Lord, and you just give me what to say and how to say it. You told me if I open my mouth wide, you'll feel it and you'll give me what to say in that right hour. Lord, I want my words to be effective, Lord. Not, not my words, but your words to be effective. That it may go out and accomplish what you intended to do. Then the Father, people I heard that's hurting during the Father, Lord God. They're, they're hurting, Lord God, and they need a word from you. They need a, a, a touch from you all today. And I pray, dear the Father, that your word may go out and accomplish you know, what you sent it out to do. It may be a word, dear the Father, may reach dear the Father to the prison. It may be a word that reach dear the Father to the nursing homes. It may be the word that reach all across the world on today. But Lord, I pray then, Father, that the words that I speak today, they may heal, they may deliver, they may set free. Then, Father, Lord, that they may baptize in the Holy Ghost, then, Father, that somebody may say, Lord, I want to be saved. Lord, I thank you, Lord, and I just give you praise, Lord. I humble myself before your mighty hand, and I give you all praise and glory. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen and amen. 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 You need this one? You need this one? Okay. Amen. Praise God. I like to walk and talk. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Y'all pray for me. Amen. Amen. Y'all pray for me. Amen. Amen. My subject on today, amen, praise God. And my topic on today is to stay committed and stay connected. Can you say that out to me? Stay committed. Stay connected. Stay committed. Stay connected. Stay connected. Amen. Committed, amen. You got to be dedicated. Amen. amen. You got to be sold out. Yes. Amen. You got to be all in. Amen. Praise God. Can I just walk a little bit? I can just bring that for a minute. Amen. Can I, can I just make a step at home? Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Stay committed. Stay committed. Stay committed. You got to stay committed. Stay committed. You got to stay committed. Stay committed. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. 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 Sold out, amen. We be, be all in. You know how it is when a person goes to go to Vegas, amen. Amen. Pray to God. And they get to the point where they say, you know what? Hey, I, I, I got a good head. I got a good head. Pray. I think I, I got a better head than anybody on the table. So guess what? I'm going to push all my shit chips in the middle of the table because I'm all in. All right. Amen. Pray. You got to be all in when you serve the God. Amen. Amen. Pray. Amen. Pray. Let me tell you something like this. You got a lot of people amen, that you can have no
But let me tell you today, those glory to God, in order to achieve your goals, in order to achieve, amen, what God has in store for you, you have to be committed and you have to be what? Connected. Yes. Amen. Amen, praise God. You got to be all in. Some people say, amen, serve me. When you come on this side into the kingdom, amen, the devil, he knows when your mind is not made up. He knows, amen, praise God, and guess what? You're not committed and you're not connected. Amen. Praise God. So guess what? He can, he can, he can, he can mess with your mind because one thing about it, if you ever heard that old saying, my mind is a terrible thing to what? Amen. 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 I think I'm in the book. Hey man, you got to be what? Committed? You got to stay connected. You got to be committed and you got to stay connected. And the reason some of us, like I said, we don't achieve our goals in life is because we're not committed and we're not connected. One of my favorite basketball players was Kobe Bryant. He was his soul. One of the, the reason I was so intrigued about Kobe Bryant, and even though I'm older than he is, is because guess what? Every time I looked around, he was what? Committed and he was connected. And that's really one of the reasons why, guess what? He is one of the greatest basketball players that ever played the game. Because in, in this life, you got to be committed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to be what? Committed. Yeah, you see. You got to, you got to be all in. You got to be all in. The devil gonna fight. That's his job. Hey Amen. The devil gonna fight. We already know, know the devil is gonna fight. We already know it's a suffering way. Hey Amen. Praise God. But can I tell you something? When you, when you walk out that door, even if you're not saved, even before you got saved, you feel it still was a suffering way. That's right. But why do we get on this side, amen, into the kingdom, amen, and just because we want to throw in the towel? Because you know why we want to throw in the towel? Because we're not committed, and we're not committed. Amen. We've got to be committed, and we've got to be committed. How do you get committed? You come to church, say it in the Word, praying, pushing your plate back, getting around saints that are strong. Hey, guess what? I can tell you just about how strong you are about who you hang with. If you want to be mediocre, you're going to hang around mediocre people. Yeah. If you want to be successful, you got to hang around what? Successful people. If you don't want nothing, you're going to hang around, amen, like all folks used to say, guess what? If you want to hang around the, 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 the chicken, amen, you know what I'm saying? If you want to hang around the eagle, you're going to hang around the eagle because the eagle is going to soar above the storm. If you don't want nothing in life, you're hanging around people don't want nothing in life. I guarantee you, and we all, we all, all have been there, and we can recognize, but guess what? You go out right now and you see a gang of people on the corner. Those people on the corner drinking and smoking every day, they ain't doing nothing, guess what? They're mediocre, they don't want nothing. They're always dead. They always want this, they always want that. But you can go on the other side of the trap, amen, and you see people that living in mansions, they're living in big homes, they're living good because guess what? They don't their whole life into something. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise We're going to go to Psalm. Let's go to Psalm 37. Amen. You got to stay committed. You got to stay connected. Amen. There's so many people in the Bible that God used. And if you really want to be used by God in a mighty and powerful way, you have to be committed, and you got to be connected. Abraham, y'all know about Abraham. Yeah. Abraham, amen, praise God, he was committed. When God gave him a promise, he was 75 years old when he gave him the promise. Amen, praise God. But guess what? He, he tried to help God out, but even, even in that, he was still what? Committed, and he was still what? Connected. Amen. You got to be committed, and you got to be connected. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm going to get there infused in your spirit on today. Amen. I want you to lay down tonight. And every time you lay down tonight, every time you walk, I want this word to pop in your spirit, being committed and being connected. I want this word today to transform the renewing of your mind. Amen. That you got to what? You got to be all in. You, hey, you got to be all in. Because God ain't going to bless nobody who's mediocre. Amen. Amen. Read the Bible. He's not going to bless nobody who's mediocre. You got to be committed. You got to be connected. Yes, Amen. Praise God. And just like the prophet said on today, the pastor said on today, 
We thank the Lord. There's a lot of people who come. You know, churches are open. I see the churches are open even more now. But thanks to be the God to the ones who stay open. Amen. Because guess what? You know why? Because they're committed and they're connected. Amen. They said, for God I live and for God I die. Yeah. Amen. Because guess what? Hey, where do our help come from? It comes from the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Because guess what? God is bigger than Corona. He's bigger than anything, amen. We, we talk about it all the time, our God can do anything. Yeah. But you got to be what? Committed? You got to be connected. Yeah. Amen, praise God. You got to be You got to be all in. Yeah. Amen, praise God. The devil ain't praying. You got, y'all got Psalm 37. Yeah. We're going to read verses 1. And we're going to go down to 7. No, we're going to go down to five. We got 37 or one through five. <clears throat> Can uh, you go read it, brother? Thank you. Break not thyself because of evil doers. Oh, Lord. Neither be thy envious against the workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. For they shall soon be cut off, cut down, like the grass.
Thank you. We know God is our source. We know it gets what they said like plugging a light plug into a socket. And then you can put a light plug into the socket, you get light. When you when you disconnected, you don't get no light. Amen. We know God is what? Our source. Amen. He said, I want you to be committed. And that's how I want you what? To be committed. Amen. He said, guess what? If you be committed, committed, and you delight yourself in me, he said, guess what? I will open up the windows of heaven and pull you out. Blessings you have not for enough room to receive. Amen. 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 Praise God. Stay committed. Stay connected. Stay committed. Stay connected. Stay committed. Stay connected. Stay connected. Amen. Praise God. You got to understand that, amen, you, we have to be committed. Amen. We're going to go into another scripture. Amen. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3. Verses 15 through 18. So you, you, you gotta understand that in Daniel, as, as you would be, you find it first, you can find it, say amen. Chapter 3, verses 15 through 18. And then you're gonna skip down to 24 through 25. Stay committed, stay connected. Praise God. You, you, we gotta, amen. You gotta understand, amen. Praise God. You gotta, you gotta be able to throw your whole life into something. Hey man, let me let me let me let me, let me, let me explain something to you. You got to be so committed. You, you, you got to be so committed. You know how when people get married. You know how when people get married. You know when people get married, the vows they go away. You you make the vows and everything to prepare for works. The rich and the poor.
chapter 11, verse 23 to 28. Amen. <clears throat> amen. You got to understand. Amen. Praise God. You got to be committed. And not, amen. You got to be able to throw yourself in there. If you're going to school, you try to get your education. Whatever it is, you gotta what? Be committed. You can't be mediocre. You just can't just say, you know what? Uh, just, uh, just, just be mediocre. Just hey, hey, brother. You, you think God gonna bless somebody? Hey, Amen. That don't want to, that don't study. Mm -hmm. You think he gonna, he gonna, he gonna invest in you? Hey, Amen. Praise God. You don't want to read. Mm -hmm. You think he invest in you? Hey, Amen. And if you don't give your heart to God, hey, Amen. If you don't, hey, Amen. Just face up. You want to start your business, and every time you look around, hey, Amen. Your doors are closed. Mm -hmm. You think God's going to invest in somebody who's not all in? I don't care what it is, God is not going to invest in. That's good. He's not going to invest in a marriage, amen, praise God. One person in, another person don't want to be in. He's not going to invest. God is not going to invest in your business. He's not going to invest in your dream if you're not all in. Mm -hmm. He only invests in people who are committed and who are connected. Wow. Hey, man, you got a lot of rappers. You, got, you know what? I know, guess what? We, we, we want to judge people. And we want to say, you know what? Look, 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 and he was what connected. Mm -hmm. They've been, they're like the old folks said, they burnt their midnight oil. 
Amen. Guess what? You got to understand, guess what? If you want to be successful in life, you, guess what? You, when people out there playing basketball, you got to be in a study. Mm -hmm. I know some people, amen, praise God. I know a young lady, Valedictorian, when she graduated from high school. She went down to college to play. She takes it to the 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 she takes it she wasn't committed. Amen. Mm -hmm. What we did? Amen. <laughs> I mean, God is not going to invest. God is not going to invest in you if you're not committed. Mm -hmm. He's not going to bless a business that you're not faithful to. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be, be, be. He's not going to do that. Amen. Because you, God is. Amen. He, he is too important to be messing around with people who are mediocre. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you're reading the Word of God, guess what? God used people. Who was committed and connected? Read your read the word of God. I'm gonna read some scriptures and then guess what? I'm gonna let you know and I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove to you. Guess what? God is with you. God is with people who are committed and connected. You're not with people who are mediocre. Mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all. Guess what? As you read the word of God, the reason God was able to use these men and mighty men and women of God because they were committed and they were connected. They were sold out. You know what I'm saying? You know how most people say, I'm body body, I'm all in. I'm all in, the home going. You know what? Committed and connected. And if you want to accomplish your dream, if you want your marriage to work, amen, amen, praise God, you want to be successful in the kingdom, you got to be committed. You got to be connected. Guess what? It's going to be some time you don't want to read. It's going to be some time you don't want to study. It's going to be time for nine and guess what? And you want to go home. Guess what? But you got to be committed. You got to be committed. Mm -hmm. Because there's going to be some bumps in the road. There's going to be some bumps in the road so bad, guess what? You know how sometimes you be riding down the road and you get a bump? And, it, and sometimes you ride down the road and you boom, and you hit another bus, and you say, oh, man, I want to talk to you my car. And sometimes you hit a hole so, big, so deep, and guess what? You have to pull up side of the road and look and see if you told something to me. That's how life is. But you got to, but what the deal is, guess what? You get back in your car and you keep on going. Now, boy, you can look and you're committed to make it go where you're you guessing. God is not going to invest in you if you're not well, like this, let me tell you like this. You got to be all in. First, it's all with God. Because mm -hmm. we just start with God because guess what? Everything else falls over another person. Mm -hmm. If you commit your ways to the Lord, everything else will fall in place. See what I'm saying? He said, delight yourself in the Lord. You will give you the desire of your, your heart. Mm -hmm. But you got to delight yourself in it. Mm -hmm. hey, you you, you got to be up some time in the middle of the night. Guess what? You're already sick in the morning and sick through the night. Amen. Give me some time to say, guess what he said? You make people think you're going to get rid of one of your favorite shows. You're sick. You're going to read the word of God. Mm -hmm. You just cut the TV off and say, I'll see y'all in the morning. Amen. God is looking for commitment. He is looking for commitment. He ain't looking for people who need your Look around. Look around. Look around. Look around. Some of your friends are hanging around. Are they committed? Are they successful? Are they meeting your friends? If they're meeting your friends, guess what? You need to say your friends. Amen. That's good. Praise the Father. I told you before I leave here today, I don't care if I have one person. Amen. I don't care if I have one person today. It may be you. Amen. It may be you because God may want to use you. Amen. Whatever you do, you can do it. Amen. <laughs> when you 
you open up a business, you gotta understand that when you first open that business, you, it may be you and your husband. Mm -hmm. You may be first, you may be the only woman in your employee. You may have to work 17, 18 hours a day. But guess what? You keep on being committed and you be, keep on being connected. Guess what? Pretty soon, guess what? Your business will start growing and then you'll be able to have some help. Amen. That's good. That's good. Second Corinthians chapter 2. Second Corinthians chapter what? 11 verses 23 through 28. Yes, ma'am. Please say. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 through 28. I want you to hear this. Just hear what hear what the word hear what the word is saying right now. Come on. He said, out of all that, guess what? He's not really worried about me. Yes, Lord. He's not worried about the church. Come on, Apostle. He's not worried, not worried about doing what God has called me to do. And we got to get that in our heart and we got to get that in our spirit. No matter what door comes, it ain't about me. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Have I been? You gotta understand, you just read, he said, guess what? Paul, I believe in the most. One thing I love about Paul, you know one thing I love about Paul. He said, I don't know if he said it like that, but he said, I don't know if he said it like that, but he said, I don't know if he said it Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know how sometimes, before we got saved, we were, we were fools, wasn't we? Mm -hmm. Guess what we did? We didn't like to bring enough bad enough to get away with it. Guess what? Guess what? You know, you know how we were? We was out there in the street drinking, smoking around the streets and whatever. Guess what? It was all in. Mm -hmm. But the only thing different than what? Paul was just like that. Yes, Lord. The only thing he did when God met him on the road to Damascus, guess what? He just changed Paul. Amen. Guess what? He was the same person. He just what? Had, to have, had a different mentality. Just like you. I heard your testimony. All they got to do is to be, be committed. Mm -hmm. Be committed. Amen. Guess what? Mm -hmm. It ain't over. Mm -hmm. It's just begun. Mm -hmm. You know what? You got to be committed. You got to be connected. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. God has a dream. He has goals and dreams for you. Amen. You, got to, you can't be mediocre. If you want something in life, you cannot be mediocre. Mm -hmm. 
man, you cannot be mediocre. If you want to you find things in life, you cannot be mediocre. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do something, do it. If you're going to do it, be all right. If you don't sit down, sit down and go do it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to open a business, be all in. If you're not, just sit down and let somebody else do it. Mm -hmm. Right you gotta be all you gotta be all in. We gotta teach our children to be all in. We gotta teach our start teaching our children, you know what? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. God gave me a dream. He gave, he gave me a witness. He gave me he gave me something, but you know, I, I didn't fulfill it. But you know what? I'm not gonna teach you not to be like me. I'm gonna teach you how to be connected and community. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Paul, read it again. Same one. Let's read it one more time. In journeys, mm -hmm. often. In journeys, what? Often. He was there. Hey, guess what? He 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 because guess what? Even before he got saved, guess what? He was, guess what? He was running. He was running. He was running for the devil. Mm -hmm. You know how it is. You know how we walk. Could nobody tell us nothing? Cause we was all in. You know how? You know how it is. Couldn't you, you know how mom and dad? Guess what? And guess what? Sometimes we try to tell our kids. You know what? Listen, your kids are just a reflection of you. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So guess what? When our mom and daddy used to tell us, don't go to that club. Don't hang around that bar. Don't hang around here. Don't hang around that. Guess what? We can hear because we, we, we were committed. And we were connected to our friends. And sometimes we got in trouble with our friends. Amen. Amen. In journeys often, in perils of waters, Ooh. in perils of robbers, Ooh. in perils by my own countrymen, Ooh. in perils by the heathen, and Paris in the city, and Paris in the wilderness, and Paris in the sea, and Paris among false brethren. False brothers, you talking to that. Pearls mean danger. Pearls mean danger. You see, he's out in danger. Where you look around, false out in danger. Mm -hmm. When you in this race, if you on this side of the track, you gonna be in danger. Me, me and my team, we were talking this morning, and I got one on strip that will get out your way. We got ten folk. Guess what time you come to the family unit? When you come to the gathering, guess what? Yeah. Hey man, they go my dog, man. They go my cub. What's up, cub? You know what they call me? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Amen. It's good. Amen. Christ Jesus. Amen. That's good. That's good right there. <laughs> uh -huh. If you like fine cars, woo wee. If you like fine men, like fine women, men are gonna take a look at. Anybody who has been studying you, who has been watching you all your life, the time you came out of your mother's womb, you were looking at you. Mm hmm. Praise me. Who gonna separate you? Who gonna separate you? Huh? When well, you commit, you connect it. <laughs> you commit, you can't let us separate. Amen. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. Can I get out of here? Go ahead. Go ahead, Apostle. Go ahead, Apostle. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine? Amen. Or nakedness, or peril, or swords, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. Mm -hmm. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors mm -hmm. to him that loved us. For I am persuaded that wow. neither That's good. Now, he said, guess what? All you connected and you committed, guess what? Ain't nothing trouble with you. He's going to touch you. He's going to cause, guess what? He's going to fold the world. He's going to already do it. He said, he's going to fold you to fall in your mother's bed. I just feel like something about you. I'm able to get him out of here. He said, God, I got you. He said, I got you. He said, the only way you are not connected to the world. Wow. Guess what? You can get tired. 
You get tired and you say, Lord, I'm going to go. But guess what? The more you commit it, the more you commit it. See, you got to say, that's what I told you. That's what we're going to do. Oh, oh, oh. Get in your bag. Pull it here. Can I tell you all something? Stolen back in the day. They were doing them. They were doing them. They were stolen. They were stolen. They were rocks. You know what I'm saying? They, they stole him, but they kind of stole him again. He said, I ain't talking about no little old rock like that. They were trying to get him all about rocks. And then when they stole him, and they left him the day, he was like, oh, yeah. But I'll get one of the things I need to do. Oh, God, I need to be naked. Guess what? He ain't never hurt you. Mm hmm. That's good. He was shipwrecked. He was shipwrecked. He said, I was naked. He's out hungry. He said, guess what? He said, I was in all kind of mix for long. He said, guess what? After all I went through, after all I went through, he said, I don't think about myself. I thought about the church. He said, I thought about the church. He said, all day, every day. When I was getting down like that, I was thinking about me. He said, I was thinking about the church. He said, guess what? You all in. He said, you need your life to Lord. Mm -hmm. You know what I just told you about killing my dog? They successful dog. Mm -hmm. They were killing. 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 They when he give it to you, he ain't got to worry about nobody taking it from you. But then, guess then, if you get it, if it's successful, but guess what? The most important thing is they lie, right? <laughs> Amen. 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 But you got to want to be committed. You got to be committed. Amen. Young people, little age people, you know, you got to be all in. Amen. Amen. We are the light of the world. We cannot be mediocre. We got to be, if we're going to be in, be in. Because Bob said, I'd rather for you to be hot or cold. He said, because if you're new, go on, we're going to what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. No, no, and I just talked to God, I don't like people who are mediocre. He said, if you're mediocre, it's fine. Guess what? You think, that's just come to the natural. You think I'm going to invest in somebody who's late? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Your parents ain't your parents been studying, your parents ain't been a few years you made. Mm-hmm. You think your parents gonna let you buy the car they know you can go? Oh, yeah. Amen. You think, you think your mama gonna give you the keys to go down to the store and you ain't gonna do your car in your back? Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I thank I thank the Lord. I hope I get so more over today. Amen, praise God. I'm a young person, I like to walk and talk.